Hi there. Welcome to lesson five and the final lesson of level two. This is going to be on AI regulations and ethics. And a quick side note, Yuri here wanted to say hello and congratulations. She's gonna be on my lap this whole time. So if you see a tail kind of swishing about, that's her. She's photogenic and she knows it. <laughs> AI is advancing quickly and governments around the world are trying to keep up. The United States mostly uses sector-specific regulations with an emphasis on industry-led innovation. The EU just passed the AI Act, a comprehensive law that takes a risk-based approach with tighter rules for AI used in education, healthcare, and enforcement. And in China, AI is shaped by centralized, state-led development with the focus on national security and social control. These differences aren't just academic. They shape what tools you can use in your classroom, how student data is protected, and how students will need to navigate AI across borders. But why is regulation so hard? Regulating AI means finding the right balance between protecting people and encouraging progress. Policymakers have to weigh the risks AI poses, the economic potential, technological limitations, public trust, and whether any regulation today will actually work tomorrow. As educators, your input matters because how AI is used in schools affects student privacy, equity, and learning outcomes. It's also vital that you're aware of the policies that are being created, discussed, and proliferated around the globe as it affects your classroom, how you teach, and what you can use. AI also raises deeper questions and some that are a little bit existential. If you think back to lesson one with Alan Turing and the Turing test, we asked the question, can machines think? Now the question is, should advanced AI systems ever have rights? Who's responsible when AI gets something wrong? Should we trust AI to help students learn, to grade their work, to provide support, and these aren't abstract ideas. You've seen them play out in your own classroom as you use tools, and even when you use Flint. Today, students are using AI to help their homework, get writing suggestions, and sometimes even turn to AI for emotional support. And as an educator, you'll play an important role in helping students decide when AI is helpful, harmful, and how to engage with it ethically and thoughtfully. Now, that can feel like a lot to bear, and we get it. AI is changing the way we learn, communicate, and connect. And while you don't need to write policy or code an algorithm, your role is essential. You're helping students understand where AI fits in society, think critically about fairness, privacy and power, and develop the ethical compass they'll need to navigate an AI-powered world. Now, you're gonna be reading the material for lesson five, and in the next section, you'll be taking the level two certification quiz. It has been such a pleasure being able to share some of the key concepts of level two with you, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care.